things are a bit quiet right now for the most part, but should ramp up with uh, official visits coming up uh, the weekend of June 3rd. So we're going to know a little bit more as we get closer, but as we stand right now, about 10 days away, 12 days away, um, where do we stand there? Yeah, right now it looks like it's going to be, you know, two dozen or more guys coming in on official visits. One of the more important one, ones is 2023 wide receiver Nathaniel Joseph. Um, he was the, he, He's a Clemson commit, first commitment of this class, committed back in November. He's down from the Miami area. He plays at Edison. His, his high school coach is Luther Campbell. Um, some of you older folks like me m- might remember him as Uncle Luke to live crew. Big Miami Canes guy, big Miami fan, big, uh, you know, um, and, and there, there is a lot of pressure on Joseph to flip to Miami right now. Um, he When he committed to Clemson, he didn't have an offer from Miami, if I'm not mistaken. It was Manny Diaz was still the coach, not at Mario. Cristobal's come in. They've made him a top priority. They really want him, and, and they're – there's a lot of pressure on him to commit. They've been trying to get, I mean, to flip. They've been trying to get him to flip, you know, most of the calendar year. Um, he, he did make it back to Clemson for, for Elite Junior Day for an unofficial visit. And I thought that was pretty telling because it, it was not an easy visit for him and his family to make. You know, those unofficial visits, they, they, those come out of your own pocket. It's a long ways from Miami. That's a long drive. It, it, it wasn't like they just – we're able to hop in the car, be on campus an hour. That you know, it it kind of solidified to me where things stood at that time. But Miami's not going to stop. They're going to keep hammering away. I, I don't know if he's going to flip or not. He's supposed to be. He's supposed to be one of the kids that that visits officially in June. You know, we'll probably have a better idea after that. Get him back on campus. That'll be important. You know, kind of remind him of why he committed to Clemson in the first place, remind his family of that. You know, there's some reports out there that his parents are some of the ones putting the most pressure on him to flip to Miami. And from the source that I have, I'm not sure that's exact. I'm not sure how true that is. Um, I don't know if that's as true as it's being made out to be. I, I'm not saying they're not putting any pressure on him at all. I, I just I just don't know how much. Um. I, I do know I've been told that there are at least a couple of people, maybe one or two people in his inner circle that would prefer him not to go to Miami. So that's one thing going in Clemson's favor here. I have no idea how this was going to play out, but we'll probably know more after that first weekend in June. You know, there, there, there's going to be a lot of other guys. Um, Let's see. DJ, I mean, not DJ, AJ Hoffler is supposed to be back on campus. Um, defensive lineman. Kind of, you know, Ohio State was the favorite for him for a while, you know, and he's kind of, he's been to Clemson a couple of times now. Mama went on a visit with him. And when I talked to him a few weeks ago, he said Clemson had done enough to where it was Clemson and Ohio State tied at the top of his list. So, so that's a guy that I think this is a big visit for. Um, Kildrick Falk supposed to be back, another defensive lineman. Hunter Osborne, a defensive lineman. T.J. Searcy, a defensive lineman. Um I think Peter Woods is going to be back too. And as we've talked about before, he's been on campus numerous times from Alabama. We all know how hard it is to pull that elite level talent out of Alabama, but, but there's some genuine interest here, whether Clemson can close the deal. I have no idea, but, but there is definitely genuine interest. Also going to be several offensive linemen in town, you know, in-state guy, Marquis Anderson, probably a South Carolina lean but you're still getting him on campus. Um, Ian Reed's going to be on on campus for a visit. He's a guy that's kind of taken Sullivan Absher's place on the board after Absher committed to Notre Dame. Two very comparable talents, both tackle prospects. Um, And and Reed is really interested in Clemson, if I'm not mistaken. He actually is the one that initiated the contact between the two parties. Zachariah Owens, another offensive lineman, supposed to be back. Um, And then – Defensive back Brandon Strozier, he's another guy I think Clemson's in good shape with. Visited for the spring game a couple of times. If I'm not mistaken, he was on campus twice during the spring. Um, linebackers Jamal Anderson, Tony Rojas, another cornerback, Avian Ter- Terrell, the younger brother of A.J. Terrell, supposed to be back. And, and wide receivers Noel Rogers, Tyler Williams, Rona Hannafin. So, I mean, a lot of guys going to make their ways 
way to campus. I expect that list probably grow a little bit between now and then. But a lot of guys coming to campus that weekend, big weekend for Clemson. You know, they, they need a little bit of momentum now that they've had another decommitment here. I don't know if any commitments come out of that weekend, but but you could at least get the you know ball rolling more favorably after some of those visits. Absolutely.